What's up guys, Mark here from the IP Shop Management. I just want to give you an update on uh, Surface Pro 11, right? So I bought it and you know, I've been using it for a couple of weeks. Obviously it's really good for the basic stuff, but you know, we're in business. There is no basic stuff. Uh, there's nothing basic about everything that we do, including, uh, so the, the first thing that I ran into, I could not install Brother Driver to print all chain stickers on both printers. So that's, uh, we gotta wait for Brother to make something compatible. I don't have time for this not to mention you know so many apps is not gonna run on this it's not for me it's for the average person who doesn't know that's that's not what I want I'll be sending it back and here's the problem I'm not the only one on this situation all students the students usually buy Surface Pro 9 uh, 11 and they, they're returning it so now there's so much demand on the Surface Pro 9 that it doesn't even exist the barely exists you barely can find it I just found a link today somebody's still selling it and I add it to VIP Shop Management. If you go here um, under, we change this by the way completely so you can see all this stuff right here. So if you want the Surface Pro 9, the older version, the i5, it must be an Intel. If you don't see an Intel runaway, man, unless you wanna deal with all the other issues, uh, printing issues and anything that could not run. So this, this person still have it, um, which is Tech Go. They still have it, I don't know for how long. All I can tell you is, let me find myself. All I can tell you is that it, there's so much high demand on Surface Pro 9 versus the Surface Pro 11. Just because of the ARM chip, it's a stupid chip, it's not ready. Talk to me in two years, Microsoft, then I'll check it out again. I mean, obviously they're getting closer, but it's not ready. But I've been looking for something really cool and I finally find it, found it. Um, it's expensive, it turns out it's on special order. And let me show what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're like me, you might have to cancel a couple orders from Snap <laughs> to get this one because it's a lot more expensive, it's double the price. Um, uh, but you know, I just need it. So I need a tablet that it's Intel and it's 5G. So I can put a SIM card in it and I need something professional. Please don't tell me your iPad or, or a Samsung Galaxy. This is for kids. I'm talking business here. The only time you want something business you gotta get a Surface Pro 9, the business version, and it's right here. So here's what, it, here's what I found out. So right here, so Intel, I see Intel, I was like yes, Intel Core, Ultra, I didn't know what's going on, but I'll show you a video what's that mean. But that's the 5G right there, it's for, it's pre-order. 16 gigabyte, I swear to God, they just switched that on me right now. Cause this option wasn't there a second ago. So pre-order 256, yeah, Ultra 5 Ultranet. Yeah, I didn't want Ultra 5. I wanted Ultra 7, Intel Core Ultra. I was like, what the hell is that? I've never heard of that. And let me show you a video, what the hell is it? Bring Intel, tell us about it. Here are four things to know about Intel Core Ultra Processors, codenamed Meteor Layer. First, these processors are the driving force of the AI PC. The new chips feature Intel's first integrated neural processing unit for a range of AI workloads. Second, Core Ultra Processors are the first PC chips built on Intel 4 process technology. Their tiled architecture features multiple chips built with different flavors of silicon connected by Intel's advanced packaging technology called Foveros. Third, core ultra processors are the most power efficient Intel's ever built. They contain two kinds of cores. P cores tackle high performance tasks. E cores quickly handle mundane jobs with little power, stretching your battery life by hours. Finally, built-in Intel Arc graphics boost 3D graphics performance for smoother, more power efficient gaming. Intel Core Ultra Processors will lay the foundation for PC innovation for years to come. All right, go Intel. That's what I'm talking about. I love Intel. I've been using Intel my whole life. I don't have problems with Intel. They last longer. There's always an itch. It's always extra professional. And no, I don't like you Mac. I only use your phone. Uh, because Windows could not make it fast. <laughs> All right, so let's look at it right here. So you get a couple options, $17.99. If you don't care about, I want the fastest of the fastest. So I picked up this one, but it's 5G. That's what I've been looking for, this 5G. It turns out it's pre-order. It's going to come at the end of uh, September. So I'm excited about that. I'll be returning, uh, what is it, Best Buy. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be bringing your tablet back. 
the Surface Pro 11 sucks on so many level and the problem with uh, Microsoft continue to push this arm stupid chip just to be like Apple if we want if if you become like Apple Microsoft why the hell would I choose you I'll just go buy Apple products I'm also I'll be also you know the phone is there might as well just switch to Apple so stop trying to be like Apple give us the choice if some who tell me who's complaining about the battery who is complaining? And then give him the Snapdragon crap. We are not complaining about the battery. We'll charge the damn thing every day. So stick with Intel. Stick with x86. Forget about your ARM chip. You have a billion app out there that runs on x86. I don't know, man. Who's running the company? You, you wait, wait, wait. You're pushing the co-pilot too much. We well, calm down. We got it. Co-pilot, 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 and then you, you bring in your Snapdragon crap. Anyway, so yeah, if you're interested in, uh, in uh, the, like me as me, and you want a tablet on the go, and you can put a SIM card in it, and it's Intel, and it can run on everything, can download any driver, can game. I'm, this is supposed to be super fast, by the way. The i7, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I'm excited, I can't wait till the end of September to get it. Anyway, appreciate you guys, until next time, thanks for watching.